Are you a new mom wondering if your baby is getting enough milk? It's a question that lingers in the minds of many new moms. The importance of providing enough milk to your bundle of joy cannot be overstated. It's vital for their growth, their development, and their overall well-being. It's natural to worry, but don't fret. We're here to help you navigate these nourishing waters. In this video, we will guide you through the signs to watch for to ensure your baby is well-fed. Hi, welcome to Nenversa. On this channel, we talk about everything mom style, confidence, breastfeeding, pumping, and motherhood. If you find this video helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. A well-fed baby has a regular feeding schedule. This is a mantra every new parent should keep in mind. But what exactly does a regular feeding schedule look like for a baby? Typically, newborns need to feed every two to three hours. That's around eight to 12 times in a 24-hour period. This is because babies have tiny tummies and breast milk or formula is digested quickly. As for the duration, each feeding session can last anywhere from 10 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on your baby's speed and appetite. As your little one grows, the frequency of feedings will gradually decrease. By the time your baby is around four to six months old, they might be feeding about six to eight times a day. And the duration of each feeding session may also decrease as your baby becomes more efficient at feeding. Now let's talk about the differences in feeding frequency and duration for breastfed and formula-fed babies. Breastfed babies usually feed more frequently than formula-fed babies because breast milk is digested faster than formula. So don't be surprised if your breastfed baby wants to feed every two hours, while your friend's formula-fed baby can go for three to four hours between feedings. Moreover, the duration of feeding sessions can also differ. Breastfeeding sessions often last longer than formula feeding because it takes a bit more time for babies to extract milk from the breast compared to a bottle. It's important to remember though that these are just general guidelines. Some babies might feed more frequently, others might take longer at each feed. Some days, your baby might seem to be feeding non-stop, and other days, they might not seem interested in feeding at all. That's all perfectly normal. In the end, the best guide to your baby's feeding schedule is your baby themselves. They'll let you know when they're hungry and when they've had enough. Trust in their signals and in your instincts as a parent. Remember, every baby is unique, so these are just general guidelines. Weight gain is a clear indicator that your baby is getting enough milk. This is a crucial part of your baby's growth journey, as it signifies that they are receiving the necessary nutrients from their feedings. A well-fed baby tends to gain weight at a steady pace, so keep an eye out for consistent increases. Regular weight checks are essential to ensure that your little one is on track. Whether it's at home or during your routine pediatrician visits, monitoring your baby's weight can provide valuable insights into their health and nutritional intake. Remember, each baby grows at their own pace, so don't stress if your little one doesn't match up with the average baby weight chart exactly. Regular visits to the pediatrician also play a vital role in monitoring your baby's growth. These healthcare professionals can provide personalized advice and reassurance, ensuring your baby is growing healthily. A steady weight gain is usually a good sign that your baby is well-fed. The content of your baby's diaper can tell a lot about their feeding. Indeed, it's like a little, albeit messy, window into your baby's nutrition. A well-fed baby will typically have several wet diapers a day. In the first few days after birth, you might see just one or two. But by the time your baby is five days old, they should have at least six wet diapers every day. The color of the diaper's contents can also provide valuable clues. The first bowel movements your baby has will be thick, black, and sticky. This substance is called meconium. After a few days, it should transition to a mustard yellow color. This is completely normal and a good sign that your baby is getting enough milk. However, if your baby has less than six wet diapers a day, or if their poop remains black and sticky after five days, it may be time to consult your pediatrician. Regularly changing wet and soiled diapers is a good sign your baby is getting enough milk. Ensuring your baby gets enough milk is crucial for their growth and development. We've covered a lot today, so let's take a moment to recap and make sure we've got all the bases covered. Firstly, understanding your baby's feeding schedule is key. It's normal for newborns to feed 8 to 12 times in 24 hours. As they grow, this may change, but it's important to keep an eye on their pattern and frequency of feeding. Secondly, Observing your baby's weight gain. Steady weight gain is a strong sign that your little one is getting enough to eat. Don't worry if they lose a little weight right after birth, that's normal. But after that initial dip, they should be gaining weight consistently. Then we talked about the diaper check. 
Babies who are getting enough milk will typically have six or more wet diapers a day and regular bowel movements. Keep in mind every baby is different, so what's normal for one may not be for another. Above all, trust your instincts. You know your baby better than anyone else. If something doesn't feel right, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional. They can provide guidance and reassurance. Remember, you're doing a great job, and your baby's health and happiness are the best indicators that they are getting enough milk. As new moms, it's normal to worry about your baby's nutrition. The pressure to produce enough milk can be overwhelming, but rest assured, there are natural ways to boost your milk supply.